we will now begin the webinar. Thereafter, by a morning prayer to be led by Mr. Gerald Calderon. Muli po tayo po ay magsisimula na sa ating webinar. Ito po ay sisimulan sa pag-awit ng lupang hinirang at susundan po ito ng morning prayer that will be led by Mr. Gerald Calderon. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Dear God, thank you for all the blessings you have bestowed upon us. We are truly grateful for them. Thank you for allowing us today to meet and share our knowledge and time with one another in this webinar. May you extend your divine wisdom to our speakers so that they would be able to impart effectively their God-given knowledge to all of us. May they be blessed and continue to bring their expertise to people who need them. Bless the participants as well so that they would be able to glean the vital information from this activity. May you bestow your blessings after the seminar so that may we go out and spread what we learn in the spirit of your love and generosity. May we realize that this activity should glorify your name. Amen. Magandang umaga po muli sa inyong lahat. So right now we have 241 participants dito po sa ating webinar sa araw na ito. And to formally open our Consumer Care Webinar Series, I think this is our fourth or fifth run, we have no less than the Undersecretary for Consumer Protection Group, Attorney Ruth B. Castello. Okay, thank you, Joyce. Good morning, everyone. Magandang umaga po sa lahat ng mga workers sa barbershops and beauty salons lahat ng may mga may-ari ng mga salons at lahat ng mga gusto na na mag-salon. 
Uh, <laughs> at sa lahat ng mga gusto na excited na magpa hair color, uh, hair treatment, rebond, relax, uh, gusto magpakulot, lahat pwede na pong mangyari or pwede na magawa doon sa mga salons. Effective today because the publication is today. Reminder lang po, please follow our strict protocols and guidelines. This is not only for your protection, but for the protection of everyone inside the salon. So, wag po tayong sanang magre-request ng mga lampas doon sa mga protocols and guidelines na pinapasunod ng mga salon or parlor na pinupuntahan nyo kasi ang application po nito is with a both with the big and the small uh, salon or parlor. Kasi nung lumaki po ako, parlor lang yan. Ngayon, salon na siya. So, <laughs> wag po tayong hihingi ng sobra uh, or ng kulang doon sa mga kailangan nating ipatupad. And let's not take it against them if they, they follow that. Just reminder, sa MGCQ pa po yung mga other hair services. So now in in GCQ areas, lahat lang po ng buhok. Buhok sa ulo, hindi po any other part of the body but only hair on the head. And uh, second, yung, yung purchase limit, I think that's going to be the first topic for discussion, no? Yung lifting ng purchase limits po, they will, uh, the Consumer Policy and Advocacy Bureau will discuss that with you para maintindihan nyo kung bakit tayo may mga niretain pa na ilang produkto doon sa listahan ng purchase limit. And uh, is, uh, mahalaga po na makinig kayo ngayon araw doon sa dalawang, dalawang topics natin, yung protocols uh, for barbershops and salons would be discussed no less by the Chief of Staff and the Undersecretary for the Management Services Group, si Yusek uh, Ireneo Vismonte. And the uh, the first topic, yung lifting of the purchase limits, will be discussed by CPAB. So, magandang umaga po. I, ho I hope you stay on until 12 o'clock and I hope you learn a lot from our policies and guidelines this morning. Thank you very much. Hello sa lahat ng mga taga DPI regional offices and provincial offices at sa lahat ng members of the private sector. Good morning, everyone. Maraming salamat po, Yusek Ruhu, for formally opening our webinar this morning. So tulad po ng sabi ni Yusek Ruhu, we have two topics in store for everyone. So right now, 262 participants po tayo and we are expecting more to join um, habang tumatagal po yung webinar natin. No? So the first one uh, will be on the lifting of the quantity limit set on selected essential and vital goods. So to speak about this is the Assistant Director of the Consumer Policy and Advocacy Bureau. We have Ms. Marie Camille Castillo. She will be discussing about MC 2036. Ms. Camille? Yes, maganda umaga po sa ating lahat. Good morning, everybody. Kamusta po? No? Sana po lahat po ay nasa mabuting kalagayan. Uh, tama po si Joyce, no? Ako po munang magsasalita. We will be uh, having Undersecretary Boy Vismonte later on after my very short presentation. Okay, so let's have it. So I am presenting the lifting the quantity limits of products set by the anti-hoarding and anti-panic buying memorandum circulars. Now, uh, one of the uh, one of the our daily activities that was affected under the community quarantine is our purchasing or buying activity. Now, due to the community quarantine, our need to purchase our daily needs, such as basic food and essential products, was organized in ways that equal distribution and order are ensured. Nagkaroon ng mga, uh, nagkaroon ng mga pila sa mga supermarket, may mga araw ng pagbili sa palengke, at nagkaroon din ng uh, limitadong bilang ng pirasos no? sa pagbili ng uh, ilan natin mga pangunahing bilang. Next slide, please. So, last March 7, 2020, uh, ang DTI po issued the Memorandum Circular number 20-07 directing all consumers and retailers to limit the sale and purchase quantity of selected essential and vital goods 
as an emergency measure to ensure the availability of these products at reasonable prices for the duration of the public health emergency. No March 14 naman po, uh, the Office of the President issued the Republic Act No. 11469, no? or the Bayanihan to Heal as One Act, to protect the people against hoarding, profiteering, and panic buying. Now, this issue once uh, confirmed no, the Memorandum Circular of DPI. So, uh, still in March 31, as a supplement, the DPI issued MC20-10. No? Uh, it's a supplement for the anti-hoarding and anti-panic buying directive. Next slide, please. So for 20-07, MC-2007, re-review ko po kayo. No? These were the products that uh, were provided their limits for purchase. No? May 13, total of 13 products po yan. Anim ang disinfectant and toiletry products at pito naman po ang food and beverage products. So kung na-notice nyo po, pagpupunta kayo ng grocery store noon o kaya ng supermarket, meron pong uh, limit no sa pagbili ng let's say ang alcohol dalawang bottle lang po ang hand sanitizer ganun din po pati po ang ang disinfecting liquid para naman po sa pagkain uh, ang instant noodles ang canned sardines nililimitahan po kayo noon na bumili lamang ng limang piraso per brand and so on and so forth no the same thing with uh, uh, powdered milk, instant coffee, mineral, uh, bottled water, at tinape. For next slide, please. For MC 20, uh, for MC 20 uh, 10, meron po namang 12 products na dinagdag. No? Lima po ang disinfectant and personal hygiene product, at dito naman po ang food products. No? Andyan po ang ating detergent soap na powder or bar, toothpaste, mouthwash. At for our food products, pito uh, po ang nadagdag, and po ang canned pork, canned beef, cooking oil, soy sauce, vinegar, fish sauce, at dried fish. So ito po yung mga produktong uh, nasa ilalim po, no? iba po nasa ilalim ng basic necessities of prime commodities. At uh, sa tulong din po ng Department of Health, uh, nagkaroon din po tayo ng limitasyon sa pagbili ng ilang medical essential products. Now, next page, please. Uh, next slide, please. So, after 107 days po na uh, we're having purchase limits, no? the, uh, the DTI issued MC 20-36 last June 22, 2020. So the DPI MC 20-36 lifts the quantity limits set on the sale and purchase of some essential and vital products covered by MC 20-07 and MC 20-10. So tinanggal na, po, tinanggal na po yung purchase limits no, para sa halos lahat ng produktong nakalista doon sa dalawang memorandum circular. Now, bakit po natin ito ginawa? Uh, we have several bases for that. Firstly, the manufacturers of some of the covered products assured the DTI that there is sufficient supply which are enough to meet the consumer demand during the community quarantine, no? during the coming days. And uh, every week po, kausap natin ang mga manufacturers at, and they, are give, they gave us their inventory levels. No? Now, Secondly, the regular monitoring activities of the DTI supported the claim of the manufacturers. Uh, ang FTE po, or Fair Trade Enforcement Bureau, at ang ating po mga regional and provincial offices, nag-monitor po yan regularly. And uh, every week po yan, every day pa nga po from Monday to Thursday. And sila po, kinonfirm po nila that there, there are enough supply. No, confirming what the manufacturers are claiming. And ang pangatlo pong reason, the recurrence of hoarding by businesses and panic buying by consumers is no longer a threat. Hindi na po tayo uh, uh, kinakabahan na magkukulang ating mga supply. Uh, dahil din po, uh, 
nakita natin that in our establishments, dahil po pinakita natin na palaging nakamonitor ang pamahalaan, they have uh, prevented no, yung hoarding. May, is, may ilang news reports po about that and na, na ayos na po natin ito. Also, the panic buying by consumers. Naintindihan po natin na hindi naman kailangan dapat na ang dami-dami natin binibili. We must learn how to share no, so that others can also purchase their needs. Hindi lang po tayo ang namimili, marami po ang namimili. And na, 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 naintindihan na po natin yun. And lastly, there's a need to invigorate and restore economic activities and allow businesses a fair return of investment while balancing the health of the people. So, ito po, uh, sa pag-lift po ng ating quantity limits no, ng, para sa ating mga uh, basic goods, uh, kailangan po natin tulungan din ng ating mga negosyo, ang ating mga manufacturers at retailers na makabalik no, sa pag-negosyo uh, at makapag-servisyo para sa ating mga consumers. Next slide, please. Okay. So, because of MC-20-36, uh, MC the purchase limits for the products under 20-07 and 20-10 no, were lifted. Okay, so yung nasa left nyo po, yung MC-20-07, uh, MC ito po yung mga produktong nagkaroon ng limits. Tapos pagdating po ng 20-10, ito naman din po yung mga produktong nagkaroon din ng limits. Ngayon po, wala na po siyang quantity limit sa pagbili from the grocery stores or supermarkets or the wet markets. So, maari na po tayong bumili ng mga produktong to na wala pong uh, limit, na wala pong bilang. No? Hindi po tayo pipigilan uh, ng ating mga establishments na pagbili, no? sa pagbili ng <coughs> ilang, sorry, <coughs> ng ilang uh, bilang ng produktong mga However, no, next slide please. Nagtira po tayo ng ilang mga produkto. Uh, apat po. Yung pong medical essentials na nakalista rin po sa previous memorandum circular. Uh, we are maintaining the quantity limit for purchase of disinfecting alcohol, hand sanitizer, disinfecting liquid, and face mask. For the alcohol, you are allowed to buy five bottles for sizes one liter and below and three bottles for sizes more than one liter. For the sanitizer, it's the same thing. You are allowed to buy five bottles for sizes one liter and below and three bottles for sizes more than one liter. I am reading them not to emphasize. No? And then for the disinfecting liquid, no, yung pang, mga panglinis natin, Five bottles, again, for sizes one liter and below, and three bottles for sizes more than one liter. And lastly, for the face mask, no? for N95 and N88, no? you are allowed to buy one box of 50 pieces. Yun po yung maximum. All right, next slide, please. So these are our QR codes for... Uh, the copy of the memorandum circular on your left and for the copy of other DTI issuances on your right. So thank you very much for listening. Thank you Thanks. very much, A.D. Camille. Mm -hmm. So again po, no, uh, natutunan natin na MC20-36 already lifts mm -hmm. the purchase limit, sale and purchase limit na nakaset po sa mga produkto covered by our previous issuances on anti-hoarding and anti-panic buying with the exception of hand sanitizers, disinfecting liquid, N95, and N N N88 face masks. So yun po yung tatandaan natin lahat that's already in effect now. Uh, ngayon po, I'm trying to check um, the chat box. No? So maybe while waiting for Yusek Boy, we can address some of the questions here, Ms. Camille. Yes, so we yes. have a query from BTI Bukidnon. Sabi po dito, if there is an LGU which adopted MC20-07 and MC-10 and MC through an ordinance, what shall be our advice to such LGU? Mm -hmm. 
ang palagi pong sinasabi ni Secretary at ni Undersecretary uh, Ruth Castello, ang memorandum circular po ng DTI ay for implementation siya nationwide. Uh, yun po ang uh, top policy po natin na dapat sundin. Uh, kapag meron pong ganong arrangement, ang L isa pong LGU, ang isang probinsya or syudad, maari pong please uh, inform us so we can discuss this with uh, the, L uh, the DILG and uh, uh, asking po natin Thank you very much, A.D. Camille. Some more questions. Actually, binigay po itong mga tanong ito during registration for this webinar. So maybe we have... Adrian, can you please um, preview the slides? So while just, waiting for the while slides... We're wait, yeah, while we're waiting, may I just request po yung ating mga supermarkets and uh, grocery stores. Yung, uh, kung maari po sana, we'll post a notice on the limits for the four remaining products po, no? Sana po para po for the information, proper information of our consumers. Alam niyo po, mas, ang mga consumers naman po madaling makaintindi. Especially when they see, no? When they see an advisory or notice na, ay, ito, ito, ito po pala ang limit, no? Na pagbili, let's say, ng face mask or ng disinfecting liquid, etc. So, sana po maglagay tayo ng notice about MC20-36. Alright. Okay, so we have the second question here. Is there an exception for sari-sari store owners on buying products from retail stores or supermarkets pursuant to the MC on the lifting of purchase quantity limit? So, exempted daw po ba ang sari-sari stores? Ang um, sari-sari store po, uh, hindi ko naman po gustong sabihin exempted, no? Kasi uh, kailangan lahat po tayo sumunod. Pero po, no? Sa pagbibili ng pagkain, wala na pong problema, no? They can buy uh, yung pong kailangan nila for their sari-sari stores. Pero pagdating po doon sa face mask, sa magbibenta bang sari-sari store ng face mask? Uh, let's say yung alcohol, no? Alcohol sanitizer, may limit po siya. Ngayon po, ang advice po palagi uh, sa ating mga sari-sari store ay makipag-usap muna sa grocery store uh, owner or operator pati ang supermarket upang ipakita no ang isang papel or document or probably your business permit that you are actually a running a sari-sari store so you can be allowed no uh, by them to purchase such number of uh, these products na meron pong quantity limit all right, thank you very much, A.D. Camille. Next question, please. Can groceries continue to limit quantity of purchases for goods despite the lifting of restrictions? No po. Uh, you have uh, grocery stores and supermarkets have to follow the memorandum circular, but uh, there are still restrictions no, on the four products, essential products that we mentioned. Again, the sanitizer, alcohol, Mask and disinfecting liquid. All right. Thank you very much, A.D. Camille. Ngayon po, let's go to the questions in the chat box. We have okay. one here from a supermarket. Paano daw po if they have more than enough supplies in their warehouse? Pwede daw po ba silang magbenta ng higit pa sa limit na nakaset sa ating MC? Yung pong so, kain, pwede po yung magbenta ng kahit ilan po. However po, for the four remaining products, you cannot sell more than the limits. Alright, thank you, A.D. Camille. I guess that also responds to the question from DTI Aurora, no? Na pareho lang din po yung tanong nila, what if maraming supply, konti lang ang bumibili, so kung pwede daw magbenta more than the limit that quantity limit set. Alright, I guess yan ang po yung mga katanungan natin for this particular MC. Uh, Ms. Camille, do you have any more reminders regarding this one po? I
kung kaya kami best example mo lang dito sa face mask. Uh, alam niyo po ang manufacturer or guma, they did distribute ng face mask. Mayroon po yung accreditation from DOH. You can request from their list of manufacturers and distributors. All right. Thank you very much, Ms. Camille. Mayroon pa po bang questions from the participants? Baka mayroon pong gustong magtanong directly to our speaker, to Edi Camille. Mayroon po ba? You can actually unmute yourself if you want to ask a question directly to Edi Camille. Mukhang wala na po ata, no? It's very clear naman kasi, Joyce. Opo. So, yes. So, again po yung yung ni-remind po ni Edi Camille kanina, Ma'am, pakiulit lang po sa ating participants, ano po yung dapat i-post na reminder sa mga yes, stores? So, so again, we are requesting our uh, friends from the supermarkets and grocery stores, uh, please post no, this notice for our consumers that they are there are still limits for the four medical essential products. These are, again, the sanitizer, alcohol, uh, disinfecting liquid, and face mask no? for N95 and N88. So, please na po, mag-set up lang po tayo ng information for the consumers to be properly guided. Thank you. Maraming salamat po, Edie Camille. Um, Ma'am, may humabol po na question ah, okay. um, from Miss Christine Gamboa. Paano po malalaman kung legit yung alcohol sa dami po nang nagbebenta ngayon? Okay. okay. I have to refer this to the Department of Health po ano ang pro this product of alcohol pati po um, face mask are under the Department of Health. Uh, meron po ang alam ko po meron po silang lista sa kanilang But we highly, highly suggest that you follow them in our social media, in the social media pages, any Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram, BOH is very much low. Yung kanila pong official Viber community para po sa lahat ng updates na meron ang DOH pertaining to COVID-19. Ayan. So, meron po ulit question tayo no? from Mr. Ariel Nengasca. How to regulate online selling of face masks? Uh, DTI. Uh, pag mayroon po na reklamo, uh, in-endorse po namin sa PNP Cybercrime Division. Yung, sa, yung nag respond po yung PNP Cyber Division po or yung CIDG. Okay. Thank you, Attorney Winnie. Yes, yung yung po. mga complaints po, uh, when we receive complaints, uh, like Attorney Winnie said, we endorse it to PNPCIT. And of course, led by Director Ronel Abrenica. Pero, uh, like we always say, if 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 home po natin, um, maybe around 2,000 of them kasi yung 500 kung naka-frontline kami or nag-opisina or maraming ibang tasks. Yung mga naka-work from home po, Secretary Lopez made it part of their COVID-19 news that we have 
through the help of PNP and NBI, we have confiscated a total value of 100 million pesos worth of masks, alcohol, hand sanitizers that were illegally sold online. So ito po yun, uh, we have more than 500 arrests and now pending cases filed by the Department of Justice Prosecutor's Office. So ito po yung mga kaso na yan. That's why we also keep warning people na wag na silang mag-attempt uh, na magbenta online ng overpriced because we have prices from the Department of Health. Meron po silang suggested retail price bulletin dito. And anything sold higher than that, uh, hinuhuli po yan ng PNP and NBI for, anti, for the profiteering and anti-hoarding laws natin. Thank you very much, Yusek Ruth. Thank you very much, A.D. Camille and Attorney Winnie from FDEB for responding to, to that question. Ngayon po, we actually have here na po ang ating next speaker who will discuss about the minimum health protocols sa mga barber shops and salons. So yung mga nagtatanong na po sa ating chat box tungkol dito sa ating next topic, hintay lamang po tayo after po ng this group, we have Undersecretary Irineo Vismonte. Yusek Boy, good morning. Yusek Boy, nasa kotse. Yusek? Nako Yusek Ruth, baka kasi a-attend po ng meeting ang ating COS. I know, I know. Pero pinagbigyan na po tayo ngayong umaga. Is mobile. Alam ko may meeting siya ng 10 to 10, ter at 10 30 to 11, kaya 11 siya talaga. Uh, so good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, you said, boy. Good morning, sir. Nakamute pala ako, salita ako ng salita. Anyway. <laughs> yes, you said, game. Okay, so uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, uh, sorry for the delay. I uh, nadinig ko pa yung mga huling uh, statements si Yusek Ruth. So uh, essentially, we're, uh, this uh, topic is about uh, again salons, uh, barber shops operation. So kahapon tinatanong ako ni Sito Beltran, ano ba pakialam ng DTI sa salon and barber shop? Uh, sabi ko, eh, dahil nito na ang DTI sa kagustuhang makapagbigay ng trabaho at negosyo uh, dahil ito pong mga hanap buhay na ito ay uh, intended pa sa category 4 meaning under GCQ dapat hindi pa po sila binubuksan but because of the strong representation of the secretary we were able to convince the uh, IATF to open to reopen these businesses including dine-in restaurants so Bago po natin na-convince, we were able to show to uh, the chief implementer, si uh, uh, Secretary Galvez, paano natin uh, gagawin yung pag-implement ng health protocols. So, ito po ngayon, uh, papakita natin. Ano? To start with, uh, next slide please. Uh, gusto po natin na pa paalalahan na ng lahat. Malino ba yan? Okay. Not, uh, mahalaga yes, po that uh, during this uh, period I uh, we have yun pong at, uh, up, during the first phase natin, during the first 100 days, we put a lot of emphasis on uh, preventing or uh, preventing the spread of uh, of uh, COVID at the same time uh, building our capacity just in case uh, lumaki itong problema na ito. So dumami po yung ating mga testing kits, dumami po yung ating mga laboratories uh, doing the, the testing and then dumami na rin po yung mga isolation natin. Medyo nagkaroon po ng dagdag na mga rooms to accommodate COVID. So with that, uh, at this point, uh, dinadagdagan na rin po natin yung mga bagong mga establishmento that will be allowed uh, as we move towards uh, a more uh, uh, relaxed quarantine. 
But of course, hindi po natin nakakalimutan that the danger or the risk are still there considering that uh, wala pa pong vaccine uh, to stop uh, the spread of uh, COVID. And we uh, will continue to rely sa non-pharmacological uh, uh, intervention. Ano? So, ibig sabihin, ito po yung mga kailangan, malakas po yung katawan natin, etc. So, dito po sa dito po sa next slide, uh, ito na po yung ating bagong memorandum circular. Alam po natin that uh, previously, uh, allowed na po itong uh, mga salons and uh, barber shops. Pero dito po sa bagong issue once natin, although 30% pa rin po ang, uh, ang capacity na inaallow under GCQ. Under GCQ po 30% and then under uh, MGCQ, maximum of 50%. Ito po ay uh, uh, hanggang ano hanggang July 15 po 'yan ano kasi gusto po natin pagdating ng uh, July 16 tataas na po yung uh, uh, capacity ng mga uh, barbershop natin sa ano dito po sa GCQ. So yan po 30% ang uh, hanggang July 15 and then under MGCQ Uh, 50% and then pagdating po ng 16 July ito po yung GCQ magiging 50% na and then uh, sa MGCQ naman magiging 75% ngayon sa ngayon po uh, nung mga nakaraang araw ang pinapayagan lang po natin ay gupit that uh, sa ngayon po ay pwede na rin po all other treatments all other hair treatments pinapayagan na po sa GCQ at uh, uh, andali ah. Thank you. Okay, so uh, doon naman po sa pagdating po natin sa ano sa sa GC, uh, MGCQ, uh, allowed na po yung mga lahat ng hair cutting and hair treatment services. Allowed na rin po ang nail care services at iba pa pong mga services, uh, personal care, basic personal care services. Uh, yun lang pong ino-offer natin sa salons and barbershops. Ano? Kasi baka mamaya meron pong mga, ito na mga aking uh, negosyo, uh, bar, personal care din ito. Pero actually, ito po ay salons and barbershops lang. Hindi po ito, hindi po kasama rito yung mga massage o kaya yung mga spa. Pinag-uusapan lang po natin dito ay salons and barbershops. Ano? So, yun lang po mga basic personal care services tulad po ng waxing, threading, shaving, foot spa, and hand spa. Ano? And then, uh, basic uh, facial services tulad po ng makeup o kaya facial massage. Yan po ay under MGCQ. And then, uh, pag, uh, pagdating po ng, uh, sa GCQ, pag nagbo po sila sa July 16, Assuming uh, ito po ay uh, ang NCR ay under GCQ pa rin, ito po ay uh, uh, papayagan na up to 50%. Okay, next slide. Dito po sa next slide, eh, uh, sinasabi po rito yung mga mandatory protocol. Dito po sa ating mga health protocol, dalawang klase po siya meron pong mandatory at saka yung tinatawag po natin na nice to have. Mas maganda pong practice yan pero hindi po natin minamandato. So ito pong mandato, kailangan po talaga ito ay in place uh, anytime. Uh, kailangan po ito ay makikita. No? Kaya uh, ito po ay monitor natin maigi. Uh, A, ito pong strict implementation of no face mask, no entry policy. So dito po sa ating mga establishmento, uh, kailangan po talaga pagpasok nila, nakasuot po sila ng uh, face mask. Ano? At uh, hindi po daw papapasok yan kung wala silang mga face mask. Pangalawa po, kailangan mayroong provision for rubbing alcohol. Uh, that pagpasok po ng mga kliyente, pagpasok po nila, um, pwede pong uh, ilagay ka agad, spray, uh, doon sa mga dumarating na mga tao whether personnel, supplier, o kaya yung mismong customer. 
And then uh, third. Ito po ang mga application, online application. Para po magkaroon ng gate contact. Dito po, kung wala po tayo ng uh, SIPA, yung SIPA, yung po, etc. So, nakalaan kasi meron mga nagbe-reklam o ginagamit ito yata sa hindi magandang uh, consideration of that. Optional na po yung pangalan, pero mahalaga po na ilagay po natin yung contact number. Kasi kung wala po kayong contact number, wala pong paraan to uh, contact you by the establishment. So, again, this is for the reason of contact tracing. The conduct of thermal scanning. Uh, sa lahat po ng personnel, supplier, at mga guests nung pong establishment. Ano? So, dito po sa ating guidelines, uh, basta 37.5 po ay uh, uh, beyond 37.5, hindi na po papayagan. Hindi na po natin papayagan makapasok. Next slide. At uh, in relation to that, uh, ito, ito po yung mga example po ng para lang po, uh, ma, ma appreciate natin. Ito pong ginagawa ng mga establishments. Uh, pag may mga pumapasok. Ito po ay actual na visit ni Secretary Lopez. Uh, kasama po niya si uh, Secretary Galvez. Ano? Uh, okay, next. Para lang po makita natin yung mga samples. Ayan, makita niyo may mga markings. May mga mark. Ayan. No? Meron pong uh, uh, foot uh, spa or foot wash. Ano yan? Uh, yeah. And then, uh, may mga ano sila. So, po sila ng mga PPE. Okay? Next. Yan. Yan po. Meron silang mga nakalagay sa signage sila. Yung uh, mga kailangan pong uh, parang uh, uh, advice. First night workers na uh, nagpapakita ng symptoms and, uh, hindi pa payaga makapasok. And then, yung pong uh, personnel with uh, COVID symptoms or with exposure to COVID-19 patients shall, be, shall, be, shall not be allowed to work. Ito po yung, uh, alimbawa, kayo po ay uh, meron kayong uh, confirm na may exposure kayo, dapat hindi na po papapasok. And ito po po yung mga personnel. So, batay po yan sa DOH guidelines. Ang ibig sabihin po ng exposure ay uh, nagkaroon kayo ng malapit ng encounter 1 meter uh, to a probable or confirmed case for uh, 15 minutes. So, pong establishments ay uh, merong proper ventilation and exhaust system para makaikot po yung uh, yung uh, air. Ano? Uh, mahalaga po ito. Marami na pong pag-aaral na ito pong ventilation ay mahalaga uh, to, uh, uh, to prevent uh, spread. Uh, yung restroom. Uh, kaya naman po siguro hindi panahon ng COVID. Uh, ito po ay kasama sa pag-iingat natin. Ano? At uh, sa ngayon, lalo pong mas mahalaga na ang mga restroom ay uh, madinis at walang uh, mga accumulation of trash. And then there should be sterilization of equipment or tools and workstation before and after its, uh, no, its uh, client po. No? So, ibig sabihin po niyan, yung ginamit po nung previous na customer, dapat po eh, maiging i-sanitize, linisin, bago gagamitin sa susunod na kliyente. And then third, hindi po pinapayagan ng uh, mga, mga kasama. No? So, as much as possible, uh, siguro naman, oh, uh, 
kung meron pong medyo kailangan ng alalay, eh, hindi na rin siguro maganda yung panahon ngayon na sila ay pumunta sa barber shops and salon. But kung kinakailangan, uh, uh, pwede naman po. Okay. Next. Meron po tayo, other than the mandatory protocols, ayan, Yan po yung mga sistema po no, ng uh, ginagawa nila. Doon sa parent uh, configuration, meron pong ine-X na upuan para automatically hindi na po yan gamitin. At uh, yan, yung walang X, yun lang po yung pwedeng gamitin. Next. Okay, so sa, sa mga nakita namin establishment, uh, naglalagay din po sila ng mga ano mga plastic uh, acetate uh, in between uh, dun sa client at saka dun sa mga customers ano lalo lalo na rin sa counter basta po yung may mga face to face uh, possible face to face ay nagkakaroon po yan ng nilaglalagay po sila ng yung ano uh, plastic acetate o kaya dun sa mga Bago ngayon, nakikita po natin, naglalagay sila ng tinatawag na sneeze guards uh, para pa maiwasan yung pag-talsik uh, po ng mga ano, ng liquids. Ano. Next. Next slide. Next slide. O yan po, uh, ito po yung mga sanitizing ng mga equipment and tools uh, na naipapakita dapat doon sa kliyente, hindi po tinatago. So ito, uh, mismo doon sa venue na nabisita natin, pinapakita po nila na merong sanitation ng tools uh, visible sa clients. Next. Next slide. Okay. So, ito naman po yung mga sinasabi natin na must have or nice to have. Ano? So, halimbawa po, uh, posting of the following information at the entrance uh, or posted in prominent uh, or conspicuous areas. Uh, yung uh, advisory na no mas no entry, uh, physical distancing protocol, regular sanitation schedule, maximum number of allowable persons, availability of alternative methods of payment, uh, availability of alternative methods of scheduling appointments, uh, kung pwede po by appointment, ito po yung maganda talaga. Client personal interaction protocols, enforcement measures in a manner consistent with the law for clients who refuse to comply with protocols, and then health declaration forms or registration with say pass or stay safe. Yun po yung Ano po yan na uh, sana nice to have na makapag-enroll uh, uh, sila sa Safe Safe or Safe Pass. Next. Next slide. Okay, ito rin po. Mga nice to have po ito. Enforcement of the following protocols concerning employees. Uh, no wearing of pieces of jewelry, wearing of clothes shoes. Uh, observance or uh, an enforcement of client personal interaction protocols, frequent hand washing and sanitizing, conduct of temperature check after each work shift, wearing of personal protective equipment but not limited to face mask, uh, face shield, disposable hand gloves or hair cuffs. Next. Ito po ay mga ano lang, nice to have. Kasi baka mahirap naman no, pag ginawa nating mandatory lahat. Eh nako, hindi na po makapagbuka sila. No? So, gusto rin po natin na sila ay makapag-negosyo. Enforcement of the following protocols concerning equipment found inside the premises. Floor mat or foot bath with uh, disinfectant. Provision of small trays to customers for payment. Uh, pieces of furniture that are made of porous materials uh, to be covered with plastic for ease of sanitation, and then observance of the proper disposal of single-use equipment, personal effects of personal plates in plastic bags stored in areas inaccessible to clients, face masks, 
readily available for sale or otherwise to clients and visible markings on the floor and unusable chairs for guidance of clients. And then, supporting sana natin na uh, ito, mga best practices, placing of the following at the entrance, a system where the personal effects of clients, including bags, jackets, and gadgets, are disinfected uh, and deposited in secured and sanitary plastic bags, face shields to be distributed to clients if they avail of shampoo services. Next. So, yan po yung uh, yes. for recapitulate yung mga services po in uh, in MG services both in GCQ and MGCQ are now expanded. So, let uh, increasing uh, by uh, beginning 16 July uh, 2020, uh, uh, pwede na rin po natin yung operational capacity ng mga uh, establishments. Ano? So, only those who comply with the TTI issue can be can resume operation. So, ang ibig kong sabihin yan, ito yung pong mandatory na mga rules natin, kailangan po in place. Pag uh, nakita po, kasi Si po ang um, DTI together with Dole and LG. Tumadalaw po tayo sa mga establishment. So kung nakita po natin na sila po ay hindi tumutupad, hindi po nagay sa mga mandatory health protocol natin, uh, pwede po natin silang report sa LGU at uh, sila po ay uh, temporarily uh, close at uh, mababalik po yung naman yung kanilang uh, servisyo kung uh, naibalik na po nila yung mga, o naayos na po nila yung kanilang establishments complying with the minimum health protocol. Uh, ganyan po, uh, meron po tayo mga ilalagay na uh, system para lumagana pa ang ating uh, pag-monitor pag, uh, ng compliance sa mga establishments. Uh, tulad po ng DTI po, maglalagay din po tayo ng mga online uh, system that the public can report at uh, magsabi ito mangita nila next meron pa ba tayong slide 